the 10x developer is a myth. Not because brilliant engineers don't exist, they do, but because the whole idea is a cop-out. It's a lazy fantasy companies use to avoid fixing their broken systems. This is what people imagine, some lone genius pumping out ten times more code than everyone else. Sounds badass, right? Except it's complete fiction. Let's rewind. Where did this 10x thing even come from? It started in the 1960s with a couple of academic studies claiming the best programmers were ten times faster at solving tasks than the worst. Cool data point, but context matters. Those studies measured tiny problems in artificial conditions. Solving toy problems fast is not equal to building production systems in 2025. But the tech industry loves legends. So managers ran with it. HR recruiters slapped. 10x developer into job posts. Blogs turned it into clickbait. And suddenly every company thought they just needed to hire a mythical unicorn instead of fixing their garbage processes. Here's the reality. Coding speed is not the bottleneck. Complexity, communication, and endless bureaucracy are. If your team is drowning in this, no 10x hero is saving you. In fact, the so-called 10x dev might make it worse. Write code faster than everyone else? Cool, but they also create 10x more bugs, skip tests, ignore documentation, and dump half-finished features on teammates. Congrats, your superstar just created 10x the technical debt. Here's the kicker, real engineering orgs, Google, Microsoft, GitHub, have published research showing that team output is driven by collaboration, not lone heroes. Things like shorter PR cycles, shared ownership, and healthy review culture correlate way more with velocity than one. Rockstar. Translation. A team of solid 1x devs who actually talk to each other will run circles around your hotshot 10x Kalba. So why does the myth survive? Because managers love shortcuts. It's easier to believe in hiring one miracle worker than to admit your deployment pipeline is trash, your requirements are chaos, and your meetings are a productivity black hole. Guess which one gets budgeted. Now, let's talk about what a real 10x impact looks like. It's not typing speed. It's leverage. This looks fine, until the API hangs and your app freezes. Dot timeout function, 5000. That one addition prevents a production meltdown. That's leverage. Leverage is designing systems people can maintain. Leverage is killing bottlenecks so everyone ships faster. Leverage is mentoring juniors so they level up instead of repeating your past mistakes. Guess which one scales? Here's another dirty secret. Most devs who brag about being 10x are just measuring the wrong thing. They count lines of code. They count commits. They count hours. None of that matters. The only metric that counts is team impact. You're not a 10x dev if half your day is wasted waiting on approvals or wrestling with flaky CI pipelines. You're not a 10x dev if nobody else can understand your code. You're not a 10x dev if your team slows down every time you're on vacation. That's not 10x. That's a single point of failure. So let's flip the narrative. If you want to make 10x impact, automate the boring stuff so people stop wasting hours. Build tools that unblock the entire team. Write docs so clean your future self sends you a thank you email. Review code in a way that makes others better, not just nitpicking syntax. Do that, and suddenly your team is shipping features twice as fast, with half the bugs, and no one's burning out. That's real leverage. So next time someone brags about being a 10x dev, ask them. Are you multiplying the team, or just multiplying chaos? Because here's the hard truth. The companies that survive aren't the ones with heroes. They're the ones without bottlenecks. They're the ones where a regular dev can join the team and be productive in days, not months. That's how you win. Not by chasing unicorns. Not by worshipping the myth. But by building systems and teams that make heroes unnecessary. Agree? Smash like. Disagree? Fight me in the comments. Subscribe before your boss finds out how efficient you're about to become.